All right. Good morning, everybody. It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you one last blog of the Sun Belt Conference, and I'm wrapping things up with the Troy Trojans. Now, Troy went three and nine last season, and they have a new head coach and Neil. Brown and a new off uh, and a whole new defensive coordinator in Vic uh, Coning. They definitely had to change things up with the coaching staff. Going three and nine, I understand why they had to get a new coach. Now in the offensive unit, they actually um, had 21.8 points per game, and they do have the return of quarterback Brandon uh, Silvers, who had 1,836 yards passing, 11 touchdowns, and just three interceptions. But he needs to not play things so safe this year. He needs to just go right ahead and just play football. Take risk just go for it sometimes even if you throw interceptions don't worry about it you was just a freshman last season come on just step it up just a little bit and not be afraid to just make mistakes just go right ahead and just take risks that is that is going to be key in order to get more victories you're going to have to take some more risks now they do have the return of a couple of the seniors their top leading rusher and brandon burks 584 yards rushing 6.1 yards per carry and they do have the return of the one of their top receivers and brian holmes who had just 474 yards receiving and five touchdowns. He was an honorable mention at the end of last season. Defensively, though, not too good. Uh, uh, 36.2 points allowed per game. And they do have one player that I do like in Montres Kitchen, who was first team all honest at the end of the season. 87 tackles and five interceptions. Now, as far as their top recruits, going to talk about all three of them. That um, Doug um, Salter, who's an outside linebacker, a decent player. They picked up an offensive tackle out of Bruton, Alabama, and James Peach, and lastly, an offensive guard, Zachary Branner, a six foot, uh, 5'11", 325 pounds. He could possibly get some playing time as a true freshman. Now, this year, I think they're going to get at least one more win. I'm going to go with a 4-8 and eight overall record this season for the Trojans, and once again, my champion this year of the Sunbelt Conference is last year's champion and um, the um, Georgia Southern Eagles. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be on Saturday where well, I would give you the previews of the Sun of the Mountain West Conference. Um, I was, uh, I'll give you guys a preview of the Mountain West Conference. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.